All right, Rick Granati, you know, we were just talking about the food bank, and one of the people that I always think about when it comes to the food bank is Bruce Springsteen, who's come to Pittsburgh many times, and I thought he could lose a little plug from us. He's got a new album coming out. How cool is that for Bruce Springsteen, Joe Brzezicki's buddy, still doing it and doing it at a high level, and so much so that all of his fans now who see him perform year after year around the world are going to get a chance to uh, drop some new music from Bruce Springsteen. Greatest respect for Joe Rusecki to retain a friendship like that with Bruce Springsteen and write songs with him. Tells you about Joe's character. Joe's a great, great guitar player and songwriter too. He really is, second to none. But they've done a lot of things to carry on. Joe and us and a couple other groups participated in the first Food Bank concert at the Stanley Theater who Rich and Pat Caesar gave it to us, no cost. Unbelievable to help start the Food Bank. That's the type of people in Pittsburgh breeds and that's, that's why we're going to continue that's that's why we never did fail as bad as things got because people here just do have the faith listen we all grew up with a little bit of the steel industry in our dna you of course from beaver falls i was from new brighton um u.s steel going to invest a billion dollars for a co-generation plant in this region and to various steel mills that money will be spread because of what they're doing that is a great story who would have believed it? You know what I mean? The lights were out here. The only town around that really kept its head up at all would have been Beaver. It's still going fantastic, but all these towns like New Brighton and Beaver Falls and Manaka, you're starting to see trickles of life. And man, what a, what a joy. One more with Rick Granati, then I'm off to First Energy. We'll join you later today right here, so stay with us. Don't touch that now.